DB. Ya salió la rolita. Ya yeah. salió. Ya 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 salió. El Bobby Pulido Pro en el video se sacó la data, mi verdad. Yeah, man. It, it, what did you think of the video when you first saw it, Lucky? Um, honestly, bro, it, it when I when I saw it, I was like, it looked all fun and and just full of carnalismo, bro. Full of like carnales, like like amigos. No, no one's bigger than other. I, although that there's levels, uh, I understand. Sí. Pero se guacho, and the, that's the word of the day. Se guacho. Se guacho. <laughs> hey, pero te entendimos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was the vibe, bro. Uh -huh. So it looked really, really cool, man. How you know we're all from the same. Somos del vibe, bro, and and we're able to come, you know, connect with each other and collab on this, you know, awesome song, bro. It, it was it was cool. And as far as the levels you're talking about, I'm the one at the very bottom. Pues I mean, no creas, carnal. It's Bobby <laughs> and you. I mean, I mean, you and Bobby, Bobby Pulido. I mean, obviously the you know Latin Grammy winner and 30 year career, playing in front of thousands and thousands of people, yeah, millions yeah. Uh, practically, yeah. uh, and you know crossing over to the Mexico area and Texas and mm -hmm. the United States. You, you know. Yeah, I have a stellar what thirty something year career as well. Yeah, and you've built your you know your your style and your music. No, pero también you know, I mean, I don't have three hundred and something thousand subscribers. You do. No. Now that says a lot, man. Too. Yeah. You know, even though even though you might not think about it, or might, people might say, nah, the subscribers. These are people that actually click on. The link and want to be a part of your sí. music. They want to know what's going on with yeah. you. That's amazing, man. Well, the thing is, is those subscribers are on my PVT. Well, there you go. The Whiskey D has like two thousand subscribers. Yeah. We're still building up, and we've yeah. been around for a long time. But yeah. and we've been, and man, we used to upload a lot of stuff. I mean, I was constantly before we started PVT, mm -hmm. where now it's taking a lot of my time. We I just had Whiskey D, and we had the YouTube channel. Yeah, for Whiskey D. And I always believed in content. Mm -hmm. So besides the band members that each carry a guitar and instrument, I had a band member that just carried a camera. And that's this guy right here. Yeah. I said, he'll got to see our films. <laughs> so an introduction, an introduction. No, <laughs> and so Sergio, <laughs> we took him on the road with us everywhere, bro. From El Paso to Dallas, the Dallas Cowboy tailgate parties, the bike rallies where all the hedonism is happening you know Oof, women uh, that we have some actually video that we can't upload on youtube because it's got naked women sense. on it and shit like that. parental advisory yeah, yeah, yeah. like when we played in uh brownfield texas bro yes, where we had about 40 strippers on stage yes, dude that was great. And they were all getting naked <laughs> and shit and while we were performing <laughs> I did. I have. I don't know if I ever showed you that video, oh dude. My God, that's but crazy. Oh, man, I tell you, man, we had some really good fun. But we did get to put. There was one video that I put that we took in Tahoka, Texas. Tahoka. It's, it's between Brownfield and yeah, Lubbock yeah. over there. I've been there. You've been there. Hell yeah. Was they don't pinch a truck on that thin mud 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 races like a mud pit. Uh, mud it's a mud pit, and uh -huh. they made it into. Uh, they did the, the bike rally there, yeah. and we went, and this guy took a drone. Wow. You know, llegamos ahí temprano, bro, y había un carro with a bunch of hungover bikers and women with their tits out, <laughs> just driving around by themselves, dude. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing at 8 in the morning? They haven't gone to sleep or what? All dusty and shit, right? They were super yeah, dusty. Cool. And then right when we got, we parked the van next to an ambulance that was open, uh -huh. that was offering sueros, you know, uh, IVs for the hangovers. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Come on. Oh and so we llegamos ahí, comenzamos a hacer up todo, carnal, and we played with a Motley Crue tribute. We headlined it. Mm -hmm. oh, right, wow. dude? Yes. Wow. They opened up for us, the yes. Motley Crue yep. and the other tribute band. And so we were playing there, bro, and this guy took a drone And then he he took the drone and he went like in front of the stage because everybody had like they all had four wheelers and shit and they that were just is so cool they were just hanging out yeah, and, yeah. and motorcycles yeah so this guy's like he's moving the drone right and it's going across all the in front of all and they're all fucking like flashing flashing and sayando chiches y la chingada se and I was like. <laughs> so then I, composure, composure. <laughs> I decided to get creative. And I got the video, and I, you know, cuando las viejas enseñaban las chichotas, uh -huh. oh le ponía Whiskey D en frente yeah. de las chichas para yeah. que no se mirara, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. hey, yeah. censor. Instead of the blurred thing. Y yeah. como yeah. que era, me dieron un pinche strike en el Whiskey D channel, bro. Oh, man. So I was like, a la madre, two more of those y me lo tumban, bro. Yeah. So I had to, I had to delete, I had to take it down, but... We have to have a, a, a platform where we can be able to put that up so people can see it, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. why? I mean, it, it's <laughs> so a travesty they you, they that they give, can't see. They give you strikes? Yeah, they give you oh, strikes, wow. yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, That's I actually crazy, got a strike man. on PVT because uh, when we go to concerts, uh -huh. I take, you know, phone video. Yeah. And, and dude, I, I look at the uh, freaking, you know, YouTube and I see fan videos of concerts all the time. Yeah. So I was right up front with Brian Adams, bro. Mm -hmm. And I put a little <laughs> video together and it's not a complete song or anything like yeah. that. It's just clips. And I think I made the mistake of announcing it on my radio show in El Paso and oh, here in the Valley. Yeah. Because the next thing I know, they took it down and I got a strike for it. I'm like, what? Damn. So I had to wait like 30 days for the strike to, you know, get away. Or you could take like some sort of test or something. But <laughs> Forget it. Yeah, it's Defensive like, video <laughs> uploading. Uh-huh, <video>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh God, Tienes que true. tomar un pinche class in the <laughs> YouTube. Class. Yeah, the one -on one class, bro. That's crazy, man. But yeah, so Sergio, oh ladies God. and gentlemen, he would be, man, you went everywhere with us, bro. Everywhere. All over the road, truck stops and everything. So if you go to our Whiskey D YouTube channel, You'll see like all kinds of content from ten you know, years yeah. or more. Yeah. Ten that's years. awesome, man. You know that's awesome porque um, a lot of people don't see what the band goes through, and to have somebody following you around or part of your crew, part of your staff, you know, taking footage of what you go through on the road, mm -hmm. that's so important, man. Yeah. You know, I wish we had that. You know, Jesse has that. Jesse has a couple of dudes that follow them around at their mm -hmm. shows. And uh, you get to see, you know, the behind the scenes, and fa some fans love that. Man. Yeah, they love that. And not, you know, not all artists put the the nitty gritty. We did. I yeah. mean, you know, we were fucking in some. Well, she shot us. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, they'll strike me, and that's because I fuck, I covered them, bro. Oh I was God. like. And then there's some biker games at the biker rallies. Like there's a game where the man sits on the and it's on the stage and, and yeah. nunca se le pasa a Sergio los los games de esos great moments. So se ponen pintan un plumber un plunger un plunger verdad es un plunger uh -huh. y pintan el el palo del plunger lo pintan okay. rojo verdad okay y it's se, an actual plunger it's though. a plunger yeah. it's okay. a plunger you know They, para, para el baño uh -huh. para el toilet <laughs> <laughs> y lo pintan red <laughs> 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 well, why do you do the motion because <laughs> I'm going to show you what <laughs> it is <laughs> well, that's how you do the plunger <laughs> way that's, that's the way <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the way a Chinese person would call it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a saca caca. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so so they paint it red, right? Uh -huh. With paint. Yeah. And then the biker sits down. He se pone el plunger entre medio las piernas y cerra la pierna. Oh. Tal, tal lo, el base uh -huh. el plunger yeah. debajo entre uh -huh. debajo los boss yeah. webs, ¿entiendes? Yeah. And then so la ruca se hinca en frente del biker with a piece of sandpaper on her in her hand. <laughs> And, and they have to sanding the, the and, and the whoever paint? peels all the paint off oh. first wins, right? Oh. <laughs> and they win money and all they types of stuff. Wow. Yeah. Imagine, bro. The last bike, sh the last bike rally we went to, they had the honey I'm home contest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so they take like a window, right? It's like a window sill with like a like, window frame. Yeah, uh -huh. it's a window, window frame. When was a paso debajo de la window? Con ventana y todo. Y la ventana abierta y tal. So it's, they put it there. Y ponen un colchón, ¿verdad? Enfrente de la window, like a couple of feet away from the window. Uh -huh. 
And on the opposite side, the biker pikes, parks his bike okay. like if it's parked outside the window. Uh, yeah, okay. Y de ahí está, y de ahí se acuesta en el colchón y está con la vieja en chingas. Y de ahí cuando el, el MC le hace, honey, I'm home, se levanta el biker, se pone los pantalones, brinca por la ventana, se sube en la pinche yonca y le pone, and that's the time, ¿verdad? Yeah. yeah. Es el timing, carnal. The quickest he can leave the scene of the crime. Y el que lo hace más pronto gana, güey. Uh, hey, es el pro, es el pro. Oh, my God. Those sound, like, those sound like cool games for like a baby shower. Right? Yeah. Oh, baby shower. <laughs> Babe, do we, the RGV for sure. Do we have the video of the girls, of the girls with the hot dogs? Um, that, this is a wedding shower. Oh my uh, god! A ver, let me see. A it, wedding shower. Let me let me see it if I have it. It should be there. I don't think I took it down. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. have it. Look at look at the TV screen, bro. Hold on, hold on, I'm hold on. Excited. So this is happening at the uh, wedding showers, at bridal showers. I never knew about it. Let me put everybody in. Yeah, ponle hold la on. musiquita, baby. Ponle la musiquita hold también on. con volume. Imagínate que con los plungers. They ought to, they ought to have because they have a contest that's similar like this at a bike rally también. But I'll tell you more about that you after we see the, the video. You want the the music? The, the music. Yeah, right? put the music. I love the music. It, it's perfect for hold it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. It's because I had already turned it off. But hold on. See. Yeah, Orale. I got it. I got it. Check it out, bro. You're gonna enjoy this, bro. <laughs> it's a bridal ahead. shower. Ben, I'm gonna see on bridal shower. Right okay, now. it's on. It's going. Uh, Vamos, cabrón. Mire. I've always wondered what it's it, called. Los ojos, los ojos, los ojos. Oh, Ahora esa, esa, esa. Oh my god. So that's what happens in bridal shower nowadays. Apparently. Okay. Nowadays, right? So it's yeah, no es que el toilet paper guess how many squares he can know what I the hot dogs in the cara. Es es un, that, uh, that's not a bridal shower. That's a baby shower. Baby oh, yeah, shower. that's a baby shower. One in the toilet paper. Yeah. Oh, stomach, you yeah. guess how many squares? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, my mom used to have a lot of those at yeah. the beauty shop. The yeah. Beauty shop. Yeah. Well, in the bike rallies, what they do is they hang, uh, they, they put like a pipe over the top, right? Uh -huh. And they hang a string, and they hang a hot dog on the string, <laughs> y le ponen mustard, uh -huh. And so the biker has to ride under the hot dog with a ruca in the back of the bike. Without putting his feet down. Without putting his feet down, he has to go real slow, and while he's going under it, la ruca se tiene que levantar <laughs> a tratar de chingarse el hot dog, wey. <laughs> el winnie. El winnie. Yeah. Y si no le pescan, salen con mustard en toda la cara la chingada. <laughs> I, I remember I, I was at, uh, the first time I ever we saw We tried it. that one, by the way. We tried that game, by the way. <laughs> She's so yeah. proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> we tried it. <laughs> se chingó el Winnie. Se chingó el Winnie tres pedazos de, de cordón. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. <laughs> oh, my don't God. Be, don't be rally had mustard all over all her face. All over my face. <laughs> it was funny as oh shit. God. But I remember that. that the first time I ever saw it was here in Bronzeville, man. And then the guy was saying, okay, the third place we got uh, Jennifer. She's got a, an inch of weenie. <laughs> uh, second place is uh, Janet. She's got uh, three inches of weenie. And first place is Mary. She got the whole weenie and three inches of string. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So, no, man. Uh, go to our Whiskey D fan page or, or whiskey d uh youtube channel and, yeah. and hit subscribe folks so we're going to be putting a lot of stuff and hopefully the song will start booking again we haven't done gigs in a while our next gig is a bike rally in september in bandera, bandera. so we're going to be back there again let's go that's over there by san antonio or no yeah it's by san antonio Nombre se pone a toda madre allí, yeah really yeah. nice and then around september 27th the weather cool weather's already coming in and shit like that but uh ladies and gentlemen we were talking about the uh, brand new video from Whiskey Dean. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it or you've heard it. It's exclusively on YouTube right now. 
It's not on any other streaming platform. So if you want to listen to it, you got to listen to it on YouTube. So uh, let's put uh, let's put the video up. But first, uh, I want to thank Dr. T's Primary Care for Men and Women. You feel sluggish, tired, gain weight. You're looking for a primary care clinic to help improve your quality of life. Dr. T's Primary Care for Men and Women, they handle your primary care needs. They will help you lose weight and get you feeling younger again. Give them a call, 441-2188, drtsprimarycare.com. And, uh, pues, uh, man, I tell you what, we get to a certain age where we need a uh, little bit of help. You know, mm-hmm. we lose testosterone. We want to burn some fat, gain some muscle. The testosterone is something that's absolutely amazing, but you don't want to do it without a doctor or physician. Mira como salgo yo de... No me salgo listo para esta chingada. Que me asusta. So, um, it's an aura, it's like, a, like a bright, yeah. bright orange aura que sale. Y, y, <laughs> llego ahí y es un, es un Friday, va total, la línea está afuera. <laughs> yeah, you, man. You, you know, everybody, want, all the men want to get their, you know, weekend, uh, weekend testosterone. On. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I told you, I, I recently, you know, spoke to Dr. T and we set up an appointment and we checked out my blood work and stuff like that. And I'm I'm one of his clients, man. Yeah, the lipo Those two. the Those lipo two. shot. Yeah. Is the shot that te quita el hambre and, yeah. and you don't overeat, man, and you start you, losing You know, weight. it gets to the point where where your body doesn't doesn't work the way it used to work before as far as digesting and mm-hmm. and the metabolism and all yeah. that. You know, it's harder for us, man. And yeah. and um we spoke and, and we have a plan and we're gonna get it, man. A b- yeah. Big shout out to Doctor T. Man. How old are you? Uh, I'm 45. Was it, uh, right now, in the next five years, you gotta work on your extended warranty. You know? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, the extended lifetime warranty, bro. Because after 50, you want to be in the shape where you just have to maintain. Yeah. Because if you don't, if you wait till after 50, bro, or 50, you know, you're, man, it's a little harder because you gotta, you know, hopefully by 55, and then you've got 15 years, yeah. you know, to 70. Yeah. So so man, we got to start thinking like that. So in the next five years, if you start changing your life and taking care of yourself and doing it under a physician's care, by the time you're fifty, you'll be way ahead of the game, bro. I see. Yes. And you need to, my doctor, when I was with the doctor, I even cada cada decade, may say, okay, time to make some minor adjustments, mm-hmm. you know, and you have to just change it up a bit, yeah, and just maintain, you know. But uh, yeah, man, I'm glad you went. You I'm know, a lot of us, a lot of us Hispanics, and I'm I'm, I'm be honest, a lot of us Hispanics. We lose sight of that, and we don't do the doc. Dambe, we have something que nos duele. We'll wait and we'll yeah. wait and we'll wait until it's worse. So you know, hence my father. My father never went to check, you know, get himself checked out, and then he never told nobody he was sick. He you knows one of those old school macho machismo kind of guys, you know. And um, that's really bad for us Hispanics, man, because we eat all that ugly stuff, man, that's so good. You know, like the menudo, tortillas, frijoles, all that stuff. So Barbacoa, oh my goodness. So as soon as you feel it, you got to go get yourself checked out, man. La cosa ahorita is fast food, bro. I mean, you know, you eat fast food. (laughs) Uh, if you eat it a lot every day, you know, three times a day, you know, oh, you're, yeah, you're really yeah. playing with fire. You know, you got it's mo- horrible. It's all moderation. Yeah. Esto lo que es moder- moderación, carnal. Mm-hmm. Entiende la onda? Also want to thank Top Floor Classic Cars or Top Floor Cars Classic Car Dealership. Tienen una, una Bronco Tabruta. Uh, 1995 Ford Bronco. Mira nomás. Oh, yeah. Esa no va a durar. La de OJ. Nice. Parece como la de la que tenía uh, Lone Wolf McQuay. ¿Te acuerdas de esa vista? <laughs> Con, uh, <laughs> hey, have you remember Chuck that movie? Norris, no? Chuck yeah, Norris, yeah. bro, where they bury him with it. Yes, sir. And then he puts it in overdrive and it just comes out of the ground. But uh, yeah, man, give him a call, man. It's uh, That is real nice. Top floor cars, classic car dealership. If you're looking for a specific vehicle or want to buy, sell, or trade, contact Tony or Carlos, 979-337-1000. I highly recommend you call if you're interested in this one because it's probably going to go pretty fast. Topfloorcars.com is where you can check out all their inventory. And they've been doing it for many years. Follow them on social media and follow them on YouTube and follow them at their website, topfloorcars.com. Thank you so much. Also want to thank Rody's Country Fried Chicken in Eagle Pass, Texas. Rody siempre sacándose la daga, man. Let me tell you. We're supposed to see him on the 29th at uh, Stark County for the Rio Grande Ooh, City nice. uh, Solido uh, Freedom Fest. And uh, we're looking forward to that show. We'll tell you more about that coming up. But you want the best country fried chicken in Eagle Pass, the best chicken tenders, chicken gizzards, man, fish and shrimp, hot dogs, chicken fried steak. You find it at Rody's Country Fried Chicken in Eagle Pass or 
Rody's Playland as well. Uh, Rody's Playland is right on casi la entrada de Kickapoo. So uh, if you go on a bus to Kickapoo, dile al vocero que se pare por ahí para levantar una caja de gizzards, una caja de pollo, te vas bien de aquí en el camino, papá. Susta, me want that. <laughs> also, I uh, want to remind everybody we have a members-only uh, program that uh, you can um, become a member for $9.99 a month. And I just uploaded an interview with a, a boxing uh, promoter, a good friend of mine. He's been doing it for 20 years, and we're talking about the boxing industry. And you know what I did with him? Mm. I gave him nicknames of boxers, and he had to tell me the boxer. Oh, wow. And it was 10 of them, and he got uh, seven, seven out of he 10. Got, yeah, he got seven out of so, 10. So, All right, try me, try me, try me. Uh, all right, boom, boom. Boom, boom, Rodriguez. No, Mancini. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Iron. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Oh, dale. Este, Marvelous. Marvin Hagler. Ay, ves. Están los que tenía aquí. Rocky. El, Balboa. El, el, <laughs> el Torito. El Torito. No, you got me there. Tony Ayala. Tony Ayala. Ayala. Oh, man. Este, yeah. Little Red. Riding Hood. Lo <laughs> <laughs> Little Red Lopez. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so, yeah, man. So, uh, we got him. I mean, uh, we, we did that. So, you can go and become a member. But I honestly want you to check out some of the other stuff that we've, we've got. We've been doing it for about a month and a half. And we have a very nice interview with uh, Lucky Joe, with Bobby Pulido. I have an interview that I just did last night with uh, este Lupe de Goyado del Grupo Control, bro. Oh, wow. And, uh, boy, there's some... You know, him and his brother uh, have had an, had a falling out. Yeah. You know, and he's using the name Control. Yeah. And so yeah. is his brother, but his brother registered it. Yeah. So it's like, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss it. I, my wife wanted to cry mm -hmm. when we were doing the interview. Yeah. You know, it's 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 really intimate, man. And, and that's something that... Um, It takes a good host. You know, not for now, bro. I'm not going to sit here and, and blow smoke up your butt, but it really does. It takes a good host to get you to that level. It takes somebody that's serious and has years of experience to get that out of you, to get that out of the artist. Because, I mean, I'm, from personal experience, I've done plenty of interviews, bro, all over the United States, <clears throat> excuse me, Mexico. And um, there's some people people or interviewees or hosts that just go through the motions interviewers and the, mm -hmm. they just go through the 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 motions mm -hmm. and they, they have like a little where are you, you know, from yeah you know, this and that this it's and todo that. man and, and lo yeah Vámonos, salte. They, they, they gave you your 15 minutes cookie then, cutting boom yeah but then there's people like you who really do their homework and who really know who they're interviewing you know they do their research they study and they get to that place in that artist soul that brings that out in them man and that's very important and you do a very good job about that that's why everybody feels so comfortable in in speaking their mind and 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 being allowed to to tell or talk their personal issues not just the front facade of the artist mm -hmm. but behind that mold The person, the, the 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 one that feels and 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 cries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people don't understand that there's pain. You know. Oh yeah. And uh, and and a lot of musicians and a lot of artists, their their biggest hits come from pain. You know. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I was thinking, Bobby Pulido. <clears throat> when have you ever seen an interview with Bobby where he breaks down and cries? As 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 rara la vez. I don't think I don't there's remember. ever been one. Yeah. I don't care what. I mean, look it up. Yeah. But I mean, we spoke, and he was it was heartfelt about his grandfather, and you know I felt that man when I, I when I saw that little clip, man, I, it got me, bro, and that's because I just saw a little clip, maybe because, you know, I grew up being so close to that family, and I grew up with Chuna. I was 17 years old when I met Chuna, Bobby's grandpa, grandpa, and that man was one of the most firme man that I've ever met in my life, bro. Ese vato era de palabra, bro. Sí. You know, don't mess with that dude. He, he was a firme kind of guy. So I guess maybe that's why I connected and, and I felt really emotional. But you could tell Bobby's, like, it, he's really, he, you hit him right there. You hit that nerve, bro. Well, you know, I've, I've, <clears throat> I really didn't get to know his grandpa. Yeah. And every time I see that clip, I want to freaking cry, dude. Yeah. 
I mean, it hits me, bro, because my grandfather passed away mm -hmm. from cancer too, bro. Yeah. You know? And so I told Bobby, Bobby, people are going to see you in a whole different light, dude. Even people that don't like you are going to love you now, man, because yeah. they're, they're seeing the human in you. Yeah. You know? And you go through the same pain that a lot of people have gone through oh. and you miss your grandfather and you know and then when he talks about how his grandfather was like he never asked anything no handouts from the government mm -hmm. and he, he said you know what i raised my family with potatoes and beans mm -hmm. you know yeah and that's a generation that will never be replicated oh no. i mean never <laughs> oh, no. you know what i mean yeah we live in a society where everything is 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 a lot easier. Yeah. You know, even, though it's hard, to you. It's, even though it's hard, even though it's hard at the, at the same time for that type of person, for that certain person, you know, it, it used to be way harder. I mean, imagine living on, on beans and potatoes, you yeah. know, and he raised like what, eight, nine kids, you know, it's algo muy difícil. Y ahora si no es McDonald's, el chavalo no come, carnal. ¿Entiende? No, 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 no más el chavalo, bro, el adulto también. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Yo quiero chicken nuggets. <laughs> Yo también, mijo. <laughs> Inga. Yeah, bro. Oh, humanity has uh, no, no has no chance, no. bro. <laughs> no, no brother. Hey, I, I won't say. I saw a meme and it says our uh, our uh, uh, how we picture our grandfathers. He is a military guy in una yonca y la chinga uh -huh. back in the military yeah, days. Yeah, back in the day. And then like. Uh, 20 years from now, how we see our grandpa is a, is un chavalo con un filter de un perrito en el oh picture Oh my god! Va a ser el abuelo de alguien, mato. That's true. Yeah, that's bro. gonna happen. Yeah. That is going this to is happen. This is your grandpa, mijo. Yeah. He was being a little doggy on Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or other things. <laughs> or other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it crazy, dude? Yeah. 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 So I, I really like that. Uh, that channel you got going on there, man. I, yeah. I highly recommend you guys go and subscribe to It's to nine ninety nine uh uh a month, which is thirty three cents a day, you know, and um but the, the, the stuff you're getting and on occasion like tonight or yesterday actually, uh I'll release like a clip of cause what I do is I, I upload clips of the interview and then I'll upload the whole interview. Yeah. So later on I can upload the clip on for the public to see so they can see what they're missing. Yeah. And if they want to see the rest of it, they can go. El clickbait. Como yeah. se can dice el clickbait. But uh, I, I had some people say, I can't believe you're taking advantage of your fans by charging. Oye, la gente, bro, cree que todo está gratis, carnal. You know, man, I just recently had an issue with that. Pues, the, the whole crowdfunding for the van. That was uh -huh. one. And then uh, recently, you know, my daughter's going to be 15. And uh, we're going to have a quinceanera for her. Uh -huh. And uh, this is already next year. And I said, man, how can I, not only by gigging and other things, how can I raise money, mm -hmm. you know, to put my part, right? So I thought, so I was scared, I'm going to raffle off one of my accordions. So I recently just posted that. I said, you know, um, even though this accordion has been with me for so long, da 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 da, da my daughter's kissing is coming up. I'm going to go ahead and raffle this accordion off. David Lee Garza did it. Mm -hmm. um, other musicians have done it. Weird. Jaime de Anda did it Jaime. on our show. I'm telling you, bro. And these are musicians, legends, right? Mm -hmm. So I posted that. Y de volada, bro. I can't believe you're asking for money again. You're oh such a beggar. Y que this is just <laughs> another form of you begging. Y que, and, and I'm like, pues chinga madre, bro. Like, <laughs> you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Like, this is an actual opportunity for a fan of mine to actually win this accordion for a hundred bucks. The accordion is worth five grand. You know what I mean? But la gente no se como no entiende. Oye, todos hacen rifas, carnal. Yeah, yeah man. I, know, I mean, Larry Hernandez just raffled off a, a, a Mercedes Benz, bro. Sí. You know, and, and he did great. Wow. Y la raza. Y, y sabes que los fans de él lo apoyan, wey. Yeah. Y nosotros acá. Tienen que decir algo negativo, carnal. Tienen que yeah, ayudar. It's just crazy. Qué loco, man. ¿no? ¿verdad? It's just the crazy, crap. bro. La raza. You know, and then the, <laughs> earlier today I uploaded a post and I said, hey guys, don't forget to go download my latest single, Querido Papa. Oh, wait. Am I begging? I put, geez, I don't even know how to word things. Shaking my head. <laughs> 
no. Deja tú, bro. Este, I mean, it's a, you can't you can't do anything like that, and then the people they'll start bitching and crying about it. I mean, I was just you know, like I said, they, like I was telling yeah. you, they were over here saying and like. Uh, you know you're you're taking advantage of your fans and you're charging them and then some people were like hey well, i'll watch it for free here and you know uh, instead you know, of saying you know what they don't realize the hours and the amount of time that you put into your craft bro it doesn't just stop when you press play and you press pause it doesn't stop there the editing the long hours the you know look at what time it is right now it's mm -hmm. already going to be 10 o'clock you're still here trying to create content obviously yeah for your channel obviously for you to grow Bro. But at the same time, you're doing it because you love it, bro. You're not doing it porque de mamón. You know what I'm it's saying? It's a service, yeah. too. So at the end of the day, you got to get compensated some way. No, no, know? they don't believe that. Yeah. La raza quiere todo gratis, no, You know bro. what I'm saying? It's tough, And you ask them for, and the thing is, is, uh, you know, it's fine. That's why we do have the Wednesday night show where everybody can see. But yeah. then we have this special yeah. that you don't have to get it if you don't want to, but if you want to, and you can that, get it. it. And that right there, bro, is what I do not understand. God gave us the ability to choose. You either choose to subscribe or not. You mm -hmm. either choose to donate or not. You either choose to follow or not. Pero no. no they they choose, choose not to follow and talk shit at they, the same time. <laughs> they choose to whine and complain, bro. Pues well, si, sí, <laughs> no entiendo, bro. Si no te gusta, vete, go on your merry yeah, way. Yeah. I do it. I see a lot of y'all stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it, but I just move on. I scroll hey, away. No, and then we, we we do we do things like I just bought Chris, one of my longtime friends. I bought him a, a you know I got I, I donated for him to get a, a, a freaking uh, wheelchair wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Hermano, He's mira. never had an electric wheelchair. Pero He's gonna have an electric wheelchair. Why? Because we appreciate and Gotta, we we make some money and we try to help people. But you check know? this out. Listen to this now. Listen to this now. You did that right. And the moment that you say you did it, you're screwed. Why? Ah, ahora anda presumiendo que he's buying for and it is it. Pues chingao. You know what I mean? You're screwed. That's true. So and if you, if he really did it out of his heart, he doesn't have to post it. Yeah. Why does he record it? You know what no, I mean? No, the so reason, you're screwed, man, either way. Well, you know why they're mad? Because then it makes them feel like shit, like they got to do something for somebody. You, hey, and that's what we do it. That we uh, show that, hey, mm -hmm. there's good in humanity. I'm pretty we, sure. Why don't you? Why don't we all get together and help somebody every once in a while? Dude, whenever Rock, you can. You Rock, know? I'm pretty sure that you guys have done so much that people have no idea about. Mm -hmm. And they don't need to know. Just like me, just like the other guy and the other guy, we've done things for people and and been supportive and been that support system for other people without having to post because we don't need to right pero la raza no sabe mm -hmm. you know they don't know but the moment that you do you're crucified man yeah, it's yeah, crazy yeah. bro nah but do you know what it's engagement that's what it, it is, is. Bro. it is and you know what happens like the person that when you when you decided to waffle because mm -hmm. you spelled it with I, a W. You have to. Ahora te lo quita Facebook. El algorithm. Sí. Have you put waffle? I put waffle. Estaba un vato dijo, do you mean raffle? Dije, no, waffle, we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No me me dio hambre, we, cuando lo leí. Este, oh quería ir a Denny's, or, you know. Yeah, if you, don't, if you don't put it like that, yeah. the algorithm will take it yeah, off. Yeah, they'll take it down. Yeah. But the thing is, is whoever, you know, comments the hate, the people that are friends with him find out that he comments because they get notified, yes. hey, so-and-so commented on Lucky el, Joe's. El, el hater is a comment on Lucky Joe's post. Uh-huh, yeah, and then they go to Lucky Joe's and, yeah. they see the, and they see the post, and maybe they'll donate, a, you know, well, buy, the, buy a, a, a ticket. That you know was a I mean? dude who responded to that person that said, well, there you go again, begging for money. There, there was a, a fan of mine that responded and said, you know what, man, just for that, give me two numbers. I'm going to buy two numbers from you. You know, and you're right. Haters actually fuel the positive people, <laughs> yep. man. And you know what? I, you know what yep. I did today, bro. Mm. So on YouTube, we've got the new video. We're gonna show you some of it okay. in a bit. The Whiskey D Third Rate Romance, the brand new video we just did with uh, Sergio Garcia Films here with us tonight. So everybody's like commenting, badass, right? Awesome job, great mm -hmm. man. It gives me the Texas tornado, Mavericks feel, you know. This is an el hater. <laughs> I, you know, Bato, mira, man, I don't have it with me, but he says, uh, you know, Tejano artists are always crying about not being able to get gigs. Why would Bobby and Lucky 
set their careers back by by recording this low low level production with a Leonard Skinner wannabe band from Wish. <laughs> You and know. the guy, the guy spell the guy spells Leonard L Y N A R D. All misspelled. And I said it's L Y N N Y R D. Doofus. <laughs> <laughs> right. So so right. All right. So so the hechinga mato cada palo. He don't like me. You know what I mean? Whatever. Uh huh. So then, <laughs> I, or, or all three of us. <laughs> <three of us. laughs> so I, I screenshot the hater. Right. The hate. The, the, the hateful comment. Uh, well, not the hater comment. Oh, I, the. I screenshot the, the video and the view. And it's like got over 10,000 views uh -huh. So I go to Facebook And I upload it as a post And I said over 10,000 views In 24 That's hours That's how you said Nothing but positive comments Except for one hater uh -huh. <laughs> Click here and watch Uh -huh. <laughs> Vamos, y de repente comencé a ver uh, notifications de gente en el hater, güey. <laughs> oh, they were Mandé chingo de gente para ver el video, güey. Yeah, and then they were started tearing him up. No, yeah. but they didn't really even tear him up, but I got the view, you yeah. know. I mean, people yeah. got to see the show. Yeah. I mean, the There always has to be one, man. Yeah. Y no entiendo. You know, I think it's just the fact that they want to go against the green. They might love the song. They might love it all together. But guess what? Just to be against the Oh, game. they want reaction. Yeah. And then if I, and and, the, and I reacted so hey, they reacted. I got under their skin. Yeah. But you know, if we yeah. were just like behind the scenes film guys on cameras, we wouldn't have to deal with that shit. Like well, Sergio, man. Sergio well, doesn't have to deal with none of that stuff, man. Yeah. Do <laughs> 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 no, no. 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 Anti hater shield sí. que tienes Andale, ahí. Andale, para que tengas hater, ah, carnal. Sendale el shield. Andale. Bring yeah. on the hate. They're going to say it's fake. <laughs> ching, ching. It's from um, Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, pretty soon, we'll start raffling también. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh. Oye, Sergio. Pues ah, este, hey, how este, much? este acá ya se queda, güey. Aquí no se, ya no se mueve de aquí. Este carnal, aquí se va a quedar. El little Emmy. Y le dije, uh, va a venir Gibby Velasquez, the guy that mixed and mastered. He's going to come in at the end of, end of July. Uh -huh. And I told him, bring some Grammys, man. A couple of them. Y le voy a decir, deja uno aquí, güey. Aquí no van a dejar. The guy's got 14 Grammys. Why yeah, does he need them yeah. all, bro? Yeah. Just give me one so I can have it here, bro. You Dile know que me trae uno a mí también. <laughs> Y no le, no le hacemos nada, nomás lo yeah, tenemos de, cu de curiosidad. Yeah. De yeah. la onda. <laughs> But anyway, let's, let's check out the video. Sergio, you did a fantastic job, bro. Thank you, man. Uh, you know, I was, um, I'm good. I'm always good with your work. But I was kind of like worried, not worried, but I was thinking, I hope Lucky and Bobby like the video. Mm -hmm. So I sent it to Lucky and Lucky, and he loved it. Right? He said he was very impressed. Because these guys do videos all the time. And then I sent it to Bobby. And Bobby's in Mexico City. I sent it to him like about 9 a.m. the day Monday when it came out at 7 a.m. to the public. And so then I went to um, about 1 o'clock. My phone rings. He said, Bobby Pulido. And I answered, ¿Qué pasó, Bob? Asustame one time, bro. He was like, you, can, you, can, you could hear, hear the, 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 the happiness in in his voice and the way he was smiling you know right, right. and he said hey man the video is amazing bro my wife loved it Salió a toda madre, Roxy. Me quieres, mandame, you know uh little promos and I'll, i'll i'll put them on my instagram i don't know much about that stuff but i'll do that so that was like man when he when i got his approval as well i was like okay we're good we're good and so if you haven't seen it ladies and gentlemen Let's put it up and uh, let's check it out, baby. Put it on and we're going to listen to it and watch it all together, okay? about it they were old enough 
the scope it out and keep it loose She said, you don't look like my type But I guess you'll do song a lot of people were saying uh, Sammy Kershaw like Sammy Kershaw and some guy sent me a picture of Sammy Kershaw saying mochate you know because he recorded the song as well okay but they don't realize that I, I have to educate him a little bit because it's a 1975 song actually yeah this is the original ladies and gentlemen just so you can get a, a taste of uh, let me see right here this is the original song and I, I've It was a one-hit wonder from a band called Amazing Rhythm Aces. And when I, I heard it, you know, I, I've known it for a long time, the song since I was a kid. And I always heard, like, accordion on it. I, yeah. I, I was like, ¿Sabes que el acordeón le quedara esta rola con Mari? Se la voy a mandar a, a Lucky. Mm -hmm. So se la mandé a Lucky, and, uh, and, and he heard it, and it's, this is the original. What did you think when I first sent you the song, bro? Uh, honest, honestly, man, I was like, that's pretty cool. You know, why not? You know, especially coming from a band that, that you know, I understood. It's a rocker, hardcore rocker band, you know, Whiskey D. Mm -hmm. and, and this is more of a mellow cut. You know, it's a mellow song, chill, kind of like Margaritaville style, uh -huh. you know. It, he'll... Yeah, why not, man? You know, put some accordion, make a little bit of Texas tornado kind of twist on it, and it así salió. Came out great. What man. do you think our colleagues of in the industry think about it when they hear like? Uh, I mean, because I feel like if I if I would have heard it and I could have done it, I would have said, man, I would never thought of doing that song, right? Yeah. 
I mean, because it fits so perfect, the accordion yeah. and everything. Bro. Yeah, you know that's a that's the beauty about music, man. You know, if you're if you really, you know, like what you do and you do it with good intent and you approach it in a in a positive way, it's gonna sound great, man. It's not gonna sound forced. It's not gonna sound, you know, as long as you love it and you love what you're doing, man. You you project that to to your audience, man. Gee. Yeah, and it, and you can hear it in the recording. So yeah. oh yeah, man. So it's in going. Yeah, it's fun. It's like yeah. we're having fun doing it. Yeah, man. And then the song, the original song, just has the lead solo. So I told Chewy at Aubel Studios, I said, uh -huh. and the band, I said, look, we we need to do an extra measure to give Lucky a, a shot at doing the accordion mm -hmm. solo. So instead of going right after like this, and they left the bar. Yeah, they I enter the solo del accordion. I enter the solo del accordion, so it's extending the song a little bit, and it yeah. fit perfectly, man. Te vienes con el pinche solo del accordion. Oh man, I was I was shitting bricks, bro. <laughs> It's like what the hell am I gonna do? You know, yeah. It's really difficult in the studio to 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 come up with something, and then I'm like, pues, ¿sabes qué? let's just keep it simple. You know, I, I use that method a lot. That Roberto Pulido he used to tell me, you know, because I started recording at 17, man. So I was like, and with Roberto Pulido in the studio, you know, and he'd be like, mijito, just keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> And less is more, keep yeah, I the, would say. Keep the kiss system, me dijia. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> it says, yeah. Uh, and it came out really nice. Yeah, it, people, it's a simple song. People, yeah. and everybody's been giving it some good uh, grades, so. Yeah, you know who called me? Uh, este Ernie from the the home, the. Homies? The homeboys. Oh, yeah, the Dallas. The talk guy. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, bravo. The, bravo. Yeah, he's he, amazing too, bro. bro. Oh, he called me the other day. He goes, Hey man, what key is that song in? I said it's in A. He says, "Oh, a lot of it, man. It sounds great, man." He loved it. He loved mm -hmm. it. He says, "Man, I love what you did on the accordion. It sounds real simple, real nice." And, and what's the difference? Because you, I remember you said that, "Hey man, can you get an accordion?" Because I don't have that key. So this isn't a yeah. traditional yeah. key for the the music you all do heck, or what? Oh heck, no, man. Heck, no. You know the 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 most the most traditional keys for our genre of music especially like conjunto norteño is like either for those of you who know is like b flat g c f you know those are more traditional common for us accordion players uh -huh. yeah when you go into the the root note of a well, that's a lot more difficult man and and a lot of you will say, si eres una cuerda, tocas en cualquier tono. And, sí, uh, sí. Sí, you know, pero no. yo no soy cualquier cuerda. <laughs> 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 so I needed that accordion. So what happens is that the easy position in G, the easy position on a G accordion, if you get an A accordion, you play the position in G, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. But now you're in A because the whole box is a different uh, key. You know, yeah. so it's easier for me to play it, and that's Orale. why I was telling nombre. But luckily, Chewy, a big shout out to Chewy, yeah. Chewy, uh, este Flores, he had the accordion and he he brought it over and we knocked yeah, it out, man. You knocked, knocked, it, knocked out. it out, and you were in there in the studio about, you know, working about on it. For about, it was about an hour. Yeah, you cut it out, bro. Yeah, it was an hour. And the good thing is that when you, when when you go in there knowing what 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 they want, and you know, it's not too much. You don't give the engineer or the producer too much to. <laughs> brush away you know you give them just enough it's easier to add bro it's uh -huh. easier to add hey sabes que we'll add this here you know oh yeah uh -huh. so yeah we it was pretty quick yeah. yeah and then well i asked bobby you know hey bobby puedes ir conmigo para el studio we para que you know you can guide me in the vocals y todo you el know. plan con maña that pues you know and <laughs> honestly you know we, we're good friends and and, and i respect his uh, yeah. opinion because the battle's got some chompa on him bro yeah It's the author, he's like he, you, ladies and gentlemen. Just let me tell you this, and you'll realize how smart this guy is. So I, I took him in. I said, "Hey man, uh, a ver si me puedes guide en los vocals y you know give me your opinion, your constructive criticism when mm -hmm. I'm singing the song." So he shows up, and I go in there and I start singing, and I get out so I can hear it. And he's sitting in the studio, right? And he's saying, "You know what, Rock? You have a natural bassy voice." And that microphone is a, a bassy microphone, so it sounds even more bassy. Mm -hmm. What you need is the MR325. Oh, 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 oh. Neta, carnal. 
Neta, carnal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he goes, really? He goes, yeah, because I went to this uh, studio, multi-million dollar studio in Monterrey, mm -hmm. and I tried out every microphone they had. Yeah. And I think that RT whatever, que la chingada 335, will be the one that will make, uh -huh. fit you well. So Chewy turns around and he goes, I lo tengo ese mic. Ah, sí. Orale. <laughs> so he gives and he puts the mic. It was amazing, the difference. Oh, 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 wow. It was amazing. Well, Bobby used to own his own studio. Yeah. Man. Bobby had a studio at Apple Bicentennial. He Pero que chinga se recuerda de MT32540. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Yeah, un, un nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Bobby. <laughs> well, hey, man. A photographic memory. Yeah. I mean, you got to have yeah. a good memory to be able. Oh, yeah. Yo, 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 y por ahorita, ahorita ni puedo decir el pinche nombre del yeah, micrófono, carnal. Salí de ahí y me recordaba, carnal. Yeah. And this guy, and he Era un MD-2020. Ese sí te acuerdas. Sí, el MD-2020. No, hombre, cállate. Son pesadillas, carnal. Nightmares. Me pegan los shakies. Great flavor. Purple passion. Uh, so I was like, imagine if I hadn't taken Bobby in there and he hadn't uh, advised to change the microphone. Yeah. This song would have sounded a whole lot different, maybe not even as good as it does. Yeah. So I was like, man, it was an incredible idea for me to ask, you know, Bobby to go in there and give me some pointers. Yeah. And then we had it mixed here. and Because you got to mix and master, ladies and gentlemen. When you do a song, You gotta, that's the hardest thing because you don't want the accordion to be too loud, the drums to be louder than this, mm -hmm. and the voice to be right on there. Que no te da música drowning out la voz. So you gotta get every track and put it in an area where yeah. it sounds nice and fluent and even. Yeah. So he sent me the mix and I listened to it and I sent it to Bobby and he didn't respond. And to me, I felt like Bobby's voice was too low. Mm -hmm. I didn't want him as a backup singer. I yeah. wanted him as a guest vocalist. Yeah. So he never responded. And then I said, I, I sent him a text later, right? And I said, yo, yo pienso que tu voz está muy baja, bro. He goes, yes, it is. They're like, yeah. okay, I guess maybe he didn't know how to tell me that. And I go, well, yeah. hey, who do you suggest I should send it to to mix and master? He goes, pues, uh, he goes, well, yo conozco, I mean, You know, do you know Gibby, Gibby Velasquez? I mm -hmm. go, hell yeah, I know Gibby Velasquez. We've got the studio in San Antonio. I did an interview with him and David Lee Garza. You know what? Let me call him. So le hablé como las 10 de la noche, carnal. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. He answered, hey, get, what's up, rock and roll change? <laughs> Gibby, what's going on? No, nah, man, just got home, man. I don't have a beer. Just chilling out here. I was at the studio. He said, well, man, um, I'm thinking uh, I recorded a song, and I want to see if you're interested in mixing and mastering. This guy's got 14 Grammy Awards. Yeah. Right? So he said, mandame la carnal. I'll work on it, bro. And I, you know, este, yo, te, yo, yo te digo lo que cuesta later. You know? yeah. está bueno. So I talked to Chewy. Y le mandó Send la the rola. tracks. And he mixed it up, bro. Oh, Look at the rain romance, the rain Salió bien el mix. Yeah, yeah, man. So, so then the song's done. Time to get the video. Y lo que batallé para poner a ti y a, y, a, y a Bobby juntos en el mismo día, bro. Because you guys got hectic schedules. <laughs> yeah. And we had to reschedule a couple of times. And Bobby was like, do you have a set date where you have to send? I go, no, I don't have any set date. It's not yeah. like... A record label que te dicen, hey, you know, we need a yeah, release deadline. by this or yeah, that. No deadlines, deadline, bro. Yeah. Ah, orale. Well, you know, so we had to change a couple because some things came up with him. So then that Sunday came and it was real funny because we did it at Agave Cantina, ladies and gentlemen, on Sunday morning. <laughs> oh my God. And I sent him and Bobby. I sent Lucky and Bobby. Oh, my God. I sent wow. them a freaking text. <laughs> y les dije, go ahead and show up at 1230 <laughs> on Sunday, noon, right? lunchtime. Yeah. We're going to show up at 8 o'clock to start setting up. ¿Verdad, Sergio? Yes, sir. <laughs> and we're going to set up. And then by the time you guys show up, I'll probably have everything recorded with my band. And that way we just take care of you guys. Because Lucky had to go to Alice to go perform. Oh, he yeah. had a gig. Yeah, he yeah. had a gig. Oh, that night. So llego yo y de ahí este, estoy llegando yo a la, a la, a la cantina como las 8 de la mañana, 7.45. <laughs> Y miro una van <laughs> con una trela que dice Lucky Joe. <laughs> y le dije, ¿qué oh chingada está haciendo Lucky Se aquí? Se Y fui, llegué y estaba Lucky, estaba half asleep. Hey, man, am I on time? <laughs> <laughs> 
Le dije, Lucky, eh, eh, eh. no tienes que estar aquí hasta la top 30 canal. <laughs> What? <laughs> I must have gotten my Texas mixed up, man. <laughs> I thought you said 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, you know oh what? Santo. In my defense, man, I hate, I absolutely hate or dislike people to be waiting for me, man. I hate it, bro. So I, I always have to be there either an hour before or 30 minutes before porque no me gusta que me estén esperando. And like today, I woke up late, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I, I dropped off my kids. From school, went and grabbed something to eat. Me pararon los diabetic uh, coma y me dormí. <laughs> and then my wife's like, hey, are you supposed to do uh, PVT tonight? Dije, hombre, me levanté como una flecha. I just put on a sweatshirt, sweatpants y vámonos, bro. Isn't that the worst, the worst <sighs> feeling when you get up late in the morning for work? Oh, no, my no jaló la alarm. Oh, man. Nunca, you never get out of that funk till like yeah. lunch or maybe yeah. even... <laughs> yeah, so so for somebody to be waiting for me, man, Kaita is one of my pet peeves, bro. But well, a las ocho de la mañana y, y no iba dormido. <laughs> they had just come in from some gig or oh something. Like, like, yeah, the van was diesel, so I thought yo en dormido dentro de la van. Yeah, was, we, we went into the bar and he was in there for a while. Nada más está que acá no hay que la chingada. And where's Lucky? <laughs> <was> like, <laughs> <laughs> yo le dije, güey, no puedes tener el air can duerme un rato, cara, porque te me hizo fresh. But yeah. man, you came out perfect on the freaking uh, video. Yeah, man. yeah makeup. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oye, y Sergio, y qué pensaste tú del video, bro? When you first approached me with that idea, I was like, man, are you serious? <laughs> But I mean, the, the turnout, the song, and everything. I mean, it it was on the dot. Everything, man. the shots, the performances, the guys. I mean, professionals, man. Yeah, you know, they they know what they're doing. We are we originally were planning to do that video at a warehouse that belongs oh, to yeah. my drummer, este Mauro Vasquez, and he has a a warehouse over there in uh, in uh, in Mission, and he's got cars in there and everything. It's a big warehouse, and then I thought to myself, man, it's going to be like a hundred degrees. We're not going to get so water. Not to Imagine. set up. Oh, so, yeah. Right? So that two weeks before. I put a post on social media. Hey, man, where would be a good place to record a video, like a music video? And they said Agave Cantina. Man, it was perfect, bro. I hadn't been into Agave in a long time. It it, it, it had some different owners or something, or maybe they remodeled it. It was the same owners. I think they've owned it for, the I think, the same. But they, they did a facelift or something to it. Oh, yeah, dude. It's got a nice little patio, everything. Yeah. I just went and did comedy there the other day. Yeah, it's awesome, man. ¿Y por dónde está la, la, it's there in, is, it in, is it considered Edinburgh? Yeah, it's Richardson and 107, like where Richardson and, one, where Richardson and 107 meet. There's a Stripes, and then because you went with me to Stripes to get yeah, some to get ice the, and shit and like coffee. that that morning yeah <laughs> and then there's like a meat place next to it and so uh it's it's right by it's, there it's but it's a la, very la, nice la little bar la chuner la chuner la chuner <laughs> En la Junior. En la Junior, la ONU se va con la Junior. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah, we, uh, we're asking you to, you know, go to our Whiskey D YouTube channel and, uh, and, and, and subscribe. And that way, whenever we put some stuff up, you can check it out. We're going to be doing some shows. And, and uh, of course, we have Seth here with us, and he follows us everywhere. And uh, we appreciate you all sharing and, and, and liking and, and subscribing, right? Uh, the video as well. We've got some pretty good uh, traction on it, and uh, I think it's going to keep going, and I think it's going to help us out, man, get some gigs and stuff like that. And you know what? It was weird because you were in Alamo with Bobby. Yeah. And I was like, if my if we if we had the song out and it was my It would have been perfect. We could have done the song all together. Yeah. And yeah. so there'll be instances and opportunities when that might happen. And uh, and then I've got ideas with other artists, too. Mm -hmm. I'm talking with Max Baca from Text Maniacs. There you go. David Lee Garza sent me a text. Hey, man, let's do something. So I'm really digging what we're doing, man. We're like straying from the really southern rock stuff, yeah. but we're mixing it still, just text mixing it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, and it's it's good camaraderie, bro. Más que nada, at the end of the day, you know, you have these these the ability to connect with these people that you've known all your life, and you've developed a good relationship with a lot of us, a lot of Tejano musicians and Tejano artists, man. And and es algo muy bonito que puedas hacer eso, like with me and with Bobby and. Like to answer that dude's question or to, to address that question or that comment 
about the hater. The, yeah, about your career. Why would you setting step your career back? back? It's not it. a step back, though. I don't think it's a step back at all. I think it shows the camaraderie as an artist to to collaborate with. No offense, a local, you know, band like Whiskey Deep, but that has that is very well known. And the only reason I say local. Is because you're more known here in the valley, yeah. you know. This is our word of the nine five six. Yeah. Even though we've played all over exactly. Texas. Exactly. You know? And it's not a bad thing. They call me local all the time, mm -hmm. bro. From Elsa, from the valley, a local from the valley. We're nine five so, six, bro. Yeah, and that's what it's about. Pero, you know, it's to me, Masquerada Rock, to have by Pulido and then you and me in a collaboration it just shows that carnalismo bro you yeah. know like i said earlier it doesn't show that ah pues acá uno es mejor que el otro it's it's not about that man. i honestly it's think it's going to open up a lot of ideas for uh, everybody in our industry to do stuff like this yeah i mean you've I had hope it does. like stephanie and savannah that have worked together and, and there's there have been some collaborations but man in the rap game bro you've got yeah. all kinds of rappers that do yeah. one song and you know to, interesting enough bro now that you mentioned local band yeah i've always had these ideas to do collaborations like with this song and stuff mm -hmm. and i was always thinking of doing it with local artists mm -hmm. you know, local bands like their bar bands and stuff uh, you know yeah. bucking crazy i was thinking of a song yeah. with with uh with uh roy torres and and then this other band as well here locally and all this and then when i started doing pvt a lot of artists that were coming in here were thanking me for helping them, you know, get that step up in their career by giving them their first opportunity on radio, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I've never asked anybody for anything, bro. Time to charge. And I, <laughs> and I, and I, I've helped so many people. <laughs> and And I've never asked for, because, you know, there was, a, you know, last night with Lupe de Goyado on that... Uh, on that one-on-one -on -one interview that I'm doing, uh -huh. we talk about the payola and the plugola, where the bands Pico had... Su, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, nah, man, people, don't, people, fans don't understand the money that some bands had to pay DJs to play their music. No, and you know what, brother? It's still today. It still exists. Yeah. It still and exists. And I've never done that. I yeah. mean, I had the 5 o'clock... And I was playing music I wasn't even supposed to play. Yeah, yeah. And I was telling him the story of Fruity Villarreal, where he had that 12-minute homenaje a las uh -huh. leyendas, yeah. where he does a little uh, porquita. You used to play the heck out of that. I dude, remember, man. Dude. And, Nunca se acababa así. <laughs> let, let me tell you. En 1988. Uh -huh, yeah. It was. <laughs> I know, bro. He sold 250,000 units. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. I With did not. Centro Musical Eriene. With oh Juan Cavazos, bro. Oh, my goodness. And I would go to Juan because Juan would me pasaba unos cuantos CDs here and there because uh -huh. I'm DJing and stuff yeah. and to listen to new music. So maybe I could play it on the show. Yeah. And I went there, and there was a stack of CDs on the counter, uh -huh. and they were all Fruity Villarreal. And I said, why are they on the counter? Pues no que venga la gente y lo agarre. Yeah. He didn't want to have to go back to the back yeah. to get him the CDs. Little hotcakes. People were just walking in. Vengo por el homenaje que toca rockin' at 5 o'clock. Boom. Homenaje. <laughs> he got a, a plaque for selling 250,000 units, right, bro. From there, from that store? Or, uh, wow. Or overall, because that was his label. Yeah. Eddie N. So, Eddie N. gave him a plaque, a plaque for selling 250,000 units. I never asked anything from them, man. Wow, dude. It, to me, that's... That's a, I mean, that's a high for me At to see. $10 a unit. Yeah, están todos en la casa. Sí, carnal. Oh, no, he made a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Pinche you <know>, beggar. <laughs> you know. <laughs> la raza la cara, eh? I know. Yeah. A raffle, 100 tickets, 100. Oh, he's going to make $10,000. See? Pues su, duh. Duh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry, bro. No, sorry, bro. No, no, no. I went off on another viaje. Se fue en un viaje. Oye, todavía enojado, ¿no? Puso la blinker. Ya <laughs> sé, hey, right. Ni puso la blinker. No, no ya. Para la right. Se quedó pegado. Ya tiene rato que quiero voltear. Y <laughs> y no no me dejas, bro. <laughs> Te carro enfrente de Goy 10 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. Te quiero pasar. Yeah. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> That's no. amazing, bro. 250. Thousand units and and, and playing a twelve-minute song on the radio yeah. was unheard, unheard of. Unheard of. 
and nobody would do it. And yeah. I did it on my five o'clock, and it was one of the most popular programs. There were guys that would call me say, "Sabes qué, Rock? Yo estoy cinco minutos de la casa del jale, güey, yeah. y tengo que andar cruising around la la, la, la cuadra, güey, hasta que wow. se acaba tu show." Wey. Yeah, because uh, I put the sound and even the plane and I. I remember. The and, kx, 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 yeah, toda la cerveza. And you know, ¿cuánto quieres dar un seis? You know what made my show so popular on the radio? Were the fans, because oh. they would call and they'd say some funny things, and I'd yeah. keep them, yeah. and I would incorporate them in the program, and. Everybody was listening to the 956 culture at five o'clock, bro. With polkas and that, pangos that, and shit. That's, that's the key, man. La cultura. Sí. La cultura. They, they listened to something that they could relate to, man. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to tune in again. Yeah. And the host of it was Raza. Uh -huh. Is Raza. Yeah. And that's what they want to hear, man. They want to hear like they're at home and you're right there pisteando con ellos. You're right there turning the meat. You're mm -hmm. having a good time yeah. with them, you know. That's that. That's why that was so popular. And then I started yeah. all these like Tetera Tuesday. Yeah, I remember and, all that. Mini yeah. Friday, Thursday is yeah. on Mini Friday, Papa. <laughs> yeah, you know. And now the when not that Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I started making you know making little slogans like that, and uh, it was just one of the most popular shows, man. And then people still think about it. And I've yeah. done some of them here on the show. And they love it. They say, hey, man, you need to start doing more of this. But yeah, bring it back, Rock. Yeah. ¿Por qué no, man? Pero bring nunca, nunca le pedí ni un daime a nadie en carnal. Yeah. Siempre le, le ayudaba al músico porque yo soy músico. Is it interesting that the only jocks left is Mandos a Roman and yours truly, and we're both musicians? That's crazy. Re, yo le dije a, a Lupe de Goyado anoche, los que andaban cobrándoles eran, no son músicos, yeah. son, son vatos de radio. Son, yeah. son, son personas, son, son gente de radio, no saben el artista y lo que sufre y lo que trabaja tan duro para tratar de hacer un poquito de dinero para seguir tocando, mm -hmm. hacer yeah. lo que les gusta, dar la pasión, ¿me entiendes? Para sobrevivir, yeah. you know, to survive. Man. And so, you know, we, we come from that school and that's why we appreciate every single person out there that watches the show too. I mean, thank you so much, everybody that supports PVT. Cuando vienen artistas de San Antonio and, you know, I always get them a room. I give them gas money, food yeah. money, and I help them out because right nowadays there's no labels paying anything for the artists. Yeah. They got to finance everything they do. Yeah. You know, it's so different, you know, and, and that's not something against the labels either because everything has changed. Mm -hmm. You know, the sales are not the same for a label. You know, it used to be back in the day where you would sell. You're talking about Fruity Villarreal, a not very well-known artist, but sold 250,000 <laughs> copies. Del Ranchito Santa Maria, I'm, carnal. I'm telling you, so back in the day, imagine, if Fruity sold 250,000 units, how much did Bobby sell, and how much did Selena sell, and how much were the very well-known artists selling? Labels were making enough to be able to distribute, you know... And or, help their and, upcoming and, artists. Yeah, exactly, and now... It's not like that, man. No. And it, and I get approached all the time by upcoming, you know, musicians and bands. Y que como le hiciste, carnal? Como le estás haciendo? Y que Freddie Records. That whole thing about the van, you know, the, when I raised money for the van. People don't know, but the label has nothing to do with your vehicle that gets you to your job. The label is providing you a service of... You know, providing a studio, studio for you to record and they manufacture your album, they manufacture your stuff and they send it out. They have nothing to do with your PA system, with your transportation, with your lighting, nothing. Paying your guys. No, pay, nothing like that. So, you know, the money we raised, plus I, I financed, the, I gave a good down payment and financed the rest. No me la compré. You know what I'm saying? People don't know that, and they, they need to get a little bit more educated on that. You know, it's different nowadays, man. It's it's a lot not tougher. even educated. Just support people. You know, yeah. hey, man, they're out there trying to make a you know make it. You know, and that's what we're trying to do. I this whole, this this song, this video, everything. I financed it all, man. Well, I mean, there you go. And I don't know if I'll make any any of it back, but it yeah. doesn't matter because you know what? We created something yeah. that. Uh, I mean, this is a milestone for me. It's a highlight in my life to be yeah. able to be on a music video recording a song with mm -hmm. you and mm -hmm. Bobby, yeah. bro. You es know, algo bonito. Es algo bonito, sí, man. Carnal. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucky Joe. And uh, 
Our good buddy Sergio Garcia Films. Sergio. Sergio, ya cállate, yes, tú. Ya sé, güey. No hablas. Stop, stop, stop giving him Red Bulls, guys. Pues chinga, le pregunté algo a, a Sergio y me dio tres palabras. El bar, chinga. You cut me off. Yeah. <laughs> you cut me off. Este, este vato no habla, habla con la pura cámara. That's right. That's true. Habla, That's true. Habla, That's true. habla con el feo. Mira, ahí está no, el ¿Qué necesita hablar cuando tienes eso? Asustame right. one time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have some fun times uh, this coming. Um, let me see here. This Saturday, I'm going to be at um, over there at uh, Mustang Lounge. Con los South Texas homies, Danny. Oh. Hoy? Saturday, the 22nd, June. Mi ruca ya está buscando vestido y la chinga. ¿Qué, ¿Qué te vas a poner, baby? I have no idea. Pues te vas a ver bien sexy, ya sé. Y yo también me tengo que ver bien, tú sabes. No sé si me debo de poner un capo de jaro o algo, ¿no, baby? De repente. Te, no, de, te no. debo de poner un zoot suit, carnal. No, hombre, no, no. Please, quiero, no. Quiero ponerme un. Tengo un capo de jaro. A ver, no tengo un capo de jaro por ahí. Yeah, he, con, it's over there on top oh, of it's the... back there. Míralo. There you go, there you go. Este me lo dio Robel Martínez, bro. Oh, wow. El de Laredo. Órale. A ver, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. A ver, vamos a ver. Sí. Oh, oh. Órale. No. Muchas gracias a todos los rancheros que nos acompañan ahí. Este, vamos a ver en el Mustang Lounge. James Echavarría este, Pulido. Me lo, voy Pulido. Poner, me lo voy a poner como... Karin León. Uh, Karin León, carnal, Karin León. Karin León, no, bro. Hey, you don't look too bad in a hat, right? Eh, hey, no, carnal. Skate. Ya sabes. <laughs> hey, boy. Well, you ride on cowboy, baby dog. Hey. <laughs> Save a horse, ride, ride a cowboy. cowboy. <laughs> 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 you know? Oh, in Los Altos, Texas, homie, como los hometown boys, carnal, no más. Oh, yeah. They're a bunch of great guys, man. Yeah. ¿Y sabes quién más va a tocar? I can't wait to hear this one, bro, man. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kicker Daddy Legacy. Uh-huh. Puro Country Rolling. Oh, wait, man. Oh, yeah. Yo sé bien que estoy afuera, pero el día en que me muera, sé que tendrás que llorar. Todos. Llorar y llorar, llorar y llorar. Dirás que no me quisiste, pero vas a estar muy triste y así te me vas a quedar. Oye, el estilo de esta música, bro, right, bro? Is that yeah, crazy? Man. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Man, there's no, no other night in me show, bro. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm playing no. the same night at Silverado's. Oh, sí. No, yeah. pues es Cameron County. Es otro pedo. Yeah. <laughs> no, man. Everybody's going to be at your show, bro. ¿Crees tú? Hell yeah. A ver, pon el poster otra vez, baby. Pon ah, el poster otra vez. Ahí está. Yeah. Yeah, no. South Texas. Ahí estoy yo. Rock and roll James, papá. 2024 y, Summer Bash. Even I feel like canceling and going to your show. <laughs> <laughs> Déjate venir, carnal. <laughs> Oye, esta rola está buena. Mustang lines between Mercedes and West Laco. Te bajas en la, la calle International Boulevard, la que te da para Nuevo Progreso. Ahí está, right off the expressway. Estoy en el rincón de una cantina. Yeah, que mal. Oyendo una canción que yo pedí. Mueva oh. las botas. Me están siguiendo ahorita mi tequila. Oh, yeah. Y a mis pensamientos rumbo a ti. So that's going to be on Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen. This Saturday. So we'll see you there. And then, uh... The following Saturday, it's going to be Freedom Fest, June 29th. Well, before that, wait a second. Before that, I'm going to do a boxing event at Paint Arena on the 28th. Uh-huh. ¿Verdad? Yes, on so, Friday. Yeah, and I just uploaded an interview with the boxing promoter. It's on our uh, Gold Members Club, and we're going to release it to the public next week. So that's another thing about the Gold Members Club. You get to see, um, you get to see stuff before everybody else does, okay? And then on Saturday, June 29th, RGV Freedom Fest, AB Quintanilla, and the Cumbia All-Stars, Solido, and the Crazy Pimps, and Rock and Roll James, Vino MC. So we're going to have Solido here, and um, <clears throat> Solido's going to be here, 
on Tuesday, I think, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So aquí va a estar Rolo y Ben, and uh, we're going to talk to them as well and just promote the Freedom Fest. Every year I've been doing it, el taco eating contest is the best. Oh, it is. Oye, un está desgraciado, se come unos tacos chingonones, carna, they got a certain time to eat it. So uh, that's going to be on Saturday, June 29th, once again, Star <laughs> County. Saturday, August 3rd, it's La Isla Fest. Lupio Rivera, Marca Registrada, tickets at Ticketon.com. We've got a table, so we're going to be there, and we're going to have fun. I've never seen Lupio Rivera. I remember seeing his uh, sister, Jenny, que en paz descanse, in Westlaco. <laughs> she put on a hell of a show. So that'll be August 3rd, okay, Ticketon.com. Then on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, August 30th, 31st, and September 1st, it's Tejano Superfest, Labor Day Weekend Bash, Cattleman Square in San Antonio, Gary Hobbs, Jay Perez, David Farias, La Tropa F, Mike Gonzalez and Iconics, Ruben Ramos, Pio Trevino, La 45, Leo Tentacion on Friday night, Saturday, David Ligarza, Los Musicales, Ram Herrera, Chente Barrera y Taconazo, Raulito Navaira, Oscar G, Roberto Pulido, Los Clásicos, Los Desperados, Los Navaira, Conjunto Cats, Johnny Martinez, El Dorado, Bennett's on Saturday. And then on Sunday, it's Elida Reina y Avante, Ricky Naranjo, Los Gamblers, Marcos Orozco, Jaime de Anda, Los Garcia Brothers, Lázaro Pérez y su conjunto, Eddie González, Hugo Guerrero, Willie the Kid Cantu, and Starlight Band. You can get your tickets at TejanoSuperfest.com, okay? So you want to get those tickets and get the three-day pass because it's going to be like the Woodstock de la Onda Tejana, and that's going to be Labor Day weekend, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Also want to thank... Uh, Bajo Sextos M3. Muchas gracias, Bajo Sextos M3. You want the best Bajo Sexto built, handmade for you? Well, you give them a call at 210-717-6834. Esos Bajo Sextos los uh, utiliza Joe Farias, David Farias Band, Mario Quintero from Los Tucanes, Pepe Lizondo del Grupo Pesado, Poncho Quesada from Los Dos Carnales, and other grand musicians from the U.S. and Mexico, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure to get your... Bajo Sexto. I also want to thank Chorizo de H.H. Uh, go ahead and put on that uh, that video that Cheo babe. I love it. It just takes me to the rancho. Mira nomás este rico manjar. Ay, no, déjame probarlo de volada. Le iba a dar uno de la cámara, pero... Mmm, 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 mmm. Hijo de su mañana, qué sabrosura raza. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, el chorizo hecho en ahí, raza, es otro show, papá. Bien. Oh my God, qué rico está. Ahora sí, como dice mi, mi gran amigo Rock and Roll, asústame one time. Hey Rock, me antojaste con el chorizo hecho en ahí. Tuve que ir a conseguir, raza. Qué cosa tan deliciosa, raza. Mm. No, me quedo. Oh, man. Yeah. I, love, I love that he has the tortillas on the brasa. Uh-huh, just yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Con la ceniza y la chica. Sí. <laughs> Qué bárbaro. That's awesome. Yeah. Me dio chingos de hambre. I ahorita know. quiero que sepas. <laughs> Oye, carnal. You me know. oí. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Did you hear him when he, when he like... He had like chingo de moco, luz moco. Oh, yeah. el, el chile, chile. El chile que se vienta el vato yeah. de ahí. You should, you should follow his uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. Las aventuras de Primo Cheo, bro. Las aventuras. Mira, bro. You go home, you lay down, or you sit on the couch, and you put it on, and it transports you to the rancho there. Yeah. His uh, rancho's in Sullivan City, bro. Rancho La reserva. reserva. And he does, man, está entre el monte y todo, y está con las vacas. Y cuando, you know what I like is when it's really cold and he needs to keep the, the cows warm. Y pone el plástico. Just like when I was a kid when yeah. my dad had cows over there. ¿Cómo se rancho. llama el vato? En las aventuras de Primo Cheo. De Primo. Yeah. Okay. He just uploaded a video today. Yeah, he did. Uh, he makes barbacoa. He makes food. Today's video was cabrito. Yeah. In a, a oh, dome. my God. I love cabrito. Mm-hmm. Dude. It, Me encanta. We, <laughs> <laughs> we had him on the show. <laughs> I brought him on the show, bro. <laughs> You did? Yeah, dude. You should yeah. look it up. Hashtag PVT. Hashtag Primo Cheo. Boom. You'll see it. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we we'll also thank Myra Flores. She's got a few words to say here. My father taught me in America, if you work hard, anything is possible. I was born in Burgos, Tamaulipas, Mexico. But at six, we immigrated to the RGV. We grew up modest, working in the cotton fields. 
Honest pay for honest work. But Washington liberals are killing the American dream, attacking oil and gas jobs and causing prices to skyrocket. I'm Ira Flores, and I approve this message because I will protect Texas workers and their wallets. Yeah, orale. There you go. Este... Aquí tenemos la nueva de... De Lucky, este... Ay. La tumba falsa. Sube el ira como vero en panzón, carnal. Está haciendo Dr. T, se, se te va a bajar la panza. No. Se te va a bajar, carnal. Last Dr. night estábamos mirando el show de Rack y la que está bien gordo. Haters. Ya lo soy. Yo. I bet you he begged for that stomach. Sí. <risa> Tanto que pide, está engordando. Tan, tanto que anda de piche y lo pusieron bien gordito, mira. Oye, Sergio, antes que nos vayamos, platícame de los Emmy Awards, bro. Yes, I want to know. I want to know about the Emmy. Uh, en, Enseña lo que aquí tengo yo también uno, este, Yeah, hold on. Pon el picture donde están todos Man, los Emmy. Este vato tiene, that, bro. tiene oh, Emmy's para avientar para arriba. Yeah. Mira, mira lo que tiene en la casa el vato, bro. And that's just uh, some of them. Sí, es nomás un... Un poquito. Yeah. What a great accomplishment, yeah. bro. Oye, ¿qué tanto tiempo tienes tú en el, en el ambiente de filmography y todo ese jale, carnal? I've been doing it over 25 years. Sí. 25 years and it was like, not even what I was dreaming of doing. No, ¿qué yeah. querías hacer? ¿Querías hacer cartelero y la chingada? Querías... <laughs> <laughs> Imagínate esto de no, cartel. No, 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 I was uh, actually going to school for criminal justice. Ah, sí? Yeah. Criminal Orale. justice and uh, when I was going to school, I had an accident. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but I got shot. Uh -huh. oh I got God. shot seven times, and then pues, after that, pues, I had to figure out what else to do. Uh -huh. And uh, this fell in my laps, and 25 years later, I've been loving what I do and getting good accomplishments and uh, seeing everything. ¿Te from... casaste si te alinearon, carna? Eish. No, hombre. La, la baby <laughs> doll. Así pasa, bro. Así pasa. Así pasa. No tienes que ir a rehab. No, no, no. No te no. casaste, bro. Y... Te ponen, te ponen derecho, cabrón. You have a wonderful yeah. wife and a daughter, bro. Thank you, your thank you. And a son, yeah. yeah thank yeah. you, yes. Beautiful family, carnal. Thank you, thank you. And yeah. a lot of people don't, uh, I don't know if I can say this, but, you know, when you got shot, you lost your hearing. Yes. And for a long time, I didn't even know that you you couldn't hear. Right. And yeah, and that, and that that progressed during uh, within the years. Mm -hmm. It progressed, and uh, I was at, like, 50%. Hearing loss. Yeah. So there yeah. was deterioration. Right. It didn't right. progress, but well, the, the deterioration progressed. Right, right, right. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. uh, when I got shot, it was like point blank. Mm -hmm. Point blank. Uh, I got shot seven times. So just <laughs> I met a uh, mistaken identity. Just, Are you uh, serious, bro? Just to keep it, you know. Para que no se, como dicen aquí, the para, names have been changed to protect yeah, exactly. the, the innocent. innocent. To not yeah. incriminate myself. Sí. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, pero, y de ahí este, for, so, for a long while, ladies and gentlemen, um, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't hear. And then he, you, something, you did something. Well, I, could, I could hear, I was one hearing issue for a while. Hearing, yeah. And then I had a surgery on mm -hmm. both ears. Yeah. And I was able to... Uh, uh, come back with my hearing. Yeah. And I was, you know what, Lucky, I was freaking out because I, after so many years of not being able to hear without a hearing aid mm -hmm. or anything like that, he was freaking out because he could hear like things. His own voice. On his, yeah, yeah. On, on, on things, bro. Like what that was one of the crazy, things that changed bro. completely? Like after your, your, your surgery, like what was one of the things that you're like, oh my God. <laughs> and that, that's funny because. Uh, Sex. <laughs> You could hear his wife say, oh, my God. I didn't know. I was going to say something. We always have to say something. We always. What were you going to say? No, uh, the, ceil uh, the, ceil uh, the ceiling fan, uh -huh. I could hear it. Oh. And it was making noise. Y no and podía then, dormir. No, no, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't Por, sleep at all. <laughs> and then I told my wife, like, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the electrician to come and change it. She goes, ah, no, ahora te chingas. Yeah. It's been like that for a year, so yeah. Ay, ¿qué tienes, James, over here? Ahora sufre conmigo, cabrón. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing, bro. And now you're working with Telemundo también, ¿verdad? I work, I mean, yes, I work for this Telemundo. This guy, they send him on location to all kinds. He's seen, like, he's one of, the, have you ever seen that movie called Nightcrawler? 
It's that guy, Gil- Gyllenhaal. What's his name? Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake mm-hmm. Gyllenhaal. He's a guy. He he gets a camera and he's got an a uh, 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 like a walkie-talkie or not CB? a walkie-talkie. Uh, one of those CB. police scanners. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he'll go to wherever the the accident yeah. and he'll get video the and action. then he'll go sell it to the TV yeah. stations. Yeah, that's a creepy ass movie, man. But. This guy, these guys, when they work with televisions, they go and see like You're really on site. crazy on shit, site. bro. Oh my goodness! Uh, accidents and Boy, stuff. Oh, it's gonna to be to be still be here, man. Um, after being shot seven times, bro, that is a blessing, yeah, man. You're 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 here for a reason, man. You have a mission, and and I'm glad you're here with appreciate us, man. It, yeah, he was sued seven times, bro. Sure. Seven Let's times, sue, bro. Left for dead. Oh. Damn, man. Yeah. You're a blessing, bro. Thank you, man. You're a blessing. You. The human spirit, bro. <coughs> yeah. The yeah. human automatically goes no, into that, let's stay alive. No, era tu tiempo. It was survival. In, it was in time, man. It yeah. wasn't your time, bro. It was That's so. crazy. And then, uh, pues, now, I mean, you know, how many years ago was that that you got shot? It's been 30. 30 years? 30 years. And were was, you like 15? Nombre, I was, <laughs> I was uh, 20, 21. Oh, you're when 50, I, yeah. I'm 50, man, man. you don't even look 50, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Gee, appreciate it, yeah. <laughs> 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 Puro Dr. T. Yo soy el abuelito de todos ustedes, carnal. How old are you, Rock? 69? <laughs> 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 no, nací en el 66. <laughs> yeah, you were born 66. I'll be 58 this year. 58. Well, you don't look 58 either. Los pinche Dr. T's, carnal. Yeah, yeah. ¿Te pinta la barba o no, dad? Sí. Yo también, yo también. ¿Sabes? Me sale blonde, güey. Yeah, yeah, really. Red, uh-huh. red and oh, blonde. Oh, my wow. wife! I let it grow out. It, it was like blonde and red and, and, what and, the and heck? white. Yeah, and, oh, wow. and, and gray. Yeah, and my wife was like, "You're." I'm mean, like, "It's like I'm with a different man." I <laughs> let it grow, baby. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> no, she didn't, bro. She didn't. No, like I really it. didn't like it. I, didn't like it. Gringo, I look yeah. like a gringo. Well, that not was, because that of was that. Natural? Because I wasn't. I wasn't used to seeing you that way. That yeah. was natural. You're that that blonde color. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Qué loco. Yeah, si, si, que te me, lo pintabas, bro. si me dejo el pelo salir del de la, del brazo, sale blonde. El nervios. Yeah. De la... <laughs> no, esos salen brown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> después que te hagas el white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, um, man, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to thank you for joining us, and we appreciate your support. And, um, you know, support all the 956 talent and everybody, everybody that's trying. You know, we've got musicians and artists in this industry from all over Texas. And, uh, you know, it's not an easy gig, and we do it for mostly because we love what we do. And, you know, those moments that we're on stage, you know, performing for all of you is the moments that we cherish the most. You know, being able to make people happy. That's why we do the show, too, because, like, we've had a lot of people comment that they can have a shitty day or something's going on in their lives, and they watch the show, and it makes them feel better. They're like, man, those guys have it shittier than me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm pretty good, if I do say so myself. At least I ain't going through that shit. Yeah. I've never been shot. Shit. <laughs> Man, this guy got shot seven times. It was a beggar. No, but God. I'm all right. We're I'm all right. Hey, we're I'm pretty. I'm sitting pretty here. Now we're raffling. También esto. <laughs> 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 the the waffle way. No digas yeah, raffle porque waffle. lo tumba YouTube. Sí. Waffle. Oh, waffle. Oh, waffle. Oh, waffle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, carnal, if you want, I can do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Percentage. Mucha te carna. No, deja, deja, deja a Lucky Joe que lo haga raffle o waffle. Okay. Y waffle. Y ahí te considere a ti un padrino de la quinceañera. There you go. Oh, there you go. Ahí está. Oh, perfect. Oh. Hijo eso. Tengo 20 ahí para que. Yeah. <laughs> a ver, 20 a 20. $20. But you know what, man? I love I love everybody. I lo- even those people that have that. Si, that. Carnal, son you got to love them, man. And sometimes we misinterpret texts because we don't know if it's like Mosca <laughs> yeah. or if they're being genuine or if they're wow. genuinely being haters. Porque with me and me, me Facebook, me echan Mosca, wey. Yo les echo yeah. Mosca para atrás. Yeah. I mean, that's the way we, I am. Yeah. You know, I always make fun of, of everybody. <laughs> Babe. Como, yeah. What? Como cuando fuiste a, a la oficina, my office, to go check out the video. Uh-huh. It was the first thing I told you. Hey, Dad, do más te encargo que no, hagas gra- que no grabes tanto porque the screens and everything because 
Hay haters, dude, that tell me, ah, pues, ¿cómo le haces para yeah, pa tener $3,000 cameras? Y, yeah. There you go. And, There uh, you go. You know, I mean, this, like you were saying earlier, it's an investment that yeah. we have to do sí. our part también para que, you know. Yeah, estamos entrados. Yeah. Y hay, pues, yeah, hay luz y hay renta y hay Wi-Fi y el pinche Spectrum que ni me jala chinga. <laughs> but, but, you know, that's the cost again también. That's the cost of being a public figure mm -hmm. you know and that's what i have to tell myself all the time like pues esto es lo que pediste. this is what you what you asked for you know you you know I mean, you gotta say it like that man you gotta tell yourself you're in the public eye this is you're gonna get scrutinized you're gonna get criticized mm -hmm. you're gonna get all that so ni modo yeah you no, know, well, like yeah. I said, <laughs> gotta roll with the punches. I, yeah, suck it up. <laughs> I, I make a negative out of, or positive out of a negative. Yeah, we have you know, to. Like the, the hater on the YouTube. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned it on my Facebook. Everybody went to YouTube to see what the hater said. You, you know turned what I mean? it right around. So, I mean, I got views out of it, man. So yeah. there's ways of doing that shit. But I think, you know, babe, when we're on Saturday and Mustang lunch, we're going to go with a what do you mean? See, with I mean, the I mean, wig? Yeah, my wife bought me a wig, Where bro. Where is it? Oh, it's my the table goodness. Over there, I man. cannot wait to see this. Yeah, man. Me compró una wig, bro. A ver, vamos a ver. Hijo de si, ya me imagino. Que, is it colored? Eh. <laughs> no, no, hombre, bro, pero <coughs> no va a parecer a peso pluma, carnal. A peso pluma. Oh, oh my goodness. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. A ver. Hijo de su, bro. A ver, ¿cómo va? A ver, a ver. Ah, sí. Ah, sí, ah, sí, ah, sí, yeah, the fleco ah, part goes in the front. Oh my god. Es como el, el, el Schwarzenegger o cómo se llama? Ajá. El Schwarzenegger. Es lo que le dije. El, uh, el Chaparro Schwarzenegger. Yeah, el Chaparro Schwarzenegger. Dale, dale para atrás un poquito de para bit. atrás. Anda. <laughs> He looks like the one from Dumb and Dumber, right? ¿Te pareces a Ringo Starr, carnal? <laughs> <laughs> When I get old and losing my hair, <laughs> I get high with a little, little help from, from my friends. friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. Tal revés, no? Yeah. No, no, no. I think it's good. Uh, así, así está. No, no, no. Yeah. The there you go. I gotta trim it a little bit. <laughs> I gotta trim the bro, front. Bro, that so looks straight. like it's real, bro. <laughs> Con toda entredita y todo. Yeah, yeah. I, put, I put a post Because I saw it Like on Instagram Me salió la pinche peluca Le dije Oye, ¿cómo sabe Instagram Que estoy pelón? Estoy que pinche onda So me salió una ad De una peluca Y eran como Cup pelucas So I, I photo, Photoshop my face On the wig, right? With the wig And then I oh put it God. up And I said Mira, toda madre Así voy a llegar Al Father's Day dinner Para que bien machín No te van a conocer, bro oh, y, y le puse Ojalá los chavales no se enojan porque me miro más chavalo que yo. So then I send a screenshot of my post to my wife and she freaking ordered it, bro. Oh <laughs> she freaking ordered it. Oh, I, I just had to trim the front a little bit. So yeah, a baby. Little bit yeah. <laughs> the that good, that good body, bro. <laughs> 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 ¿Sabes a quién me parezco? Huh. Me parezco el señor de los cielos. Ay, oh. No, güey. No, yeah. Te pareces al señor de los pelos, güey. <risa> Amado Carrillo. <risa> Dale, <risa> 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 Look at his old pictures, bro. He's yeah. got his hair like this. Yeah, right? he does. Right, yes, yeah. 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 Asusta me buen time. Ay, Dios mío. Y lo oro con el sombrero ahora. Oh, oh, no. oh my goodness, here we go, oh, baby. My God. Madre. Ay, no. <laughs> <laughs> quítate lo mejor. Nah, no, mejor no. quítate lo no, que me dan ganas de ir a rancho, carnal. Ay, yeah. <laughs> just like that. Así no mal, no. <laughs> Perfect. The wonders. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining oh, us tonight. Lucky, muchas gracias, Lucky. No, thank you for having me. And don't forget, guys. Um, There's so many things coming up de parte de la compañía de Freddy Records, de parte mía. Um, we just re released a song que se llama Querido Papá this past Father's Day. You guys go out there and download it, uh, stream it. We have a lyric video out as well que se llama Querido Papá. And um, just stay tuned uh, because we're working on a new album. Así es que estén pendientes por todo lo, lo más nuevo de tu servidor, Lucky Joe. Y tiene un nuevo video de La Tumba Falsa. La Tumba Falsa es the the single before yeah. this uh, one yeah. de, de mi jefe wow. as a matter of fact 
I'm recording the video to my dad's song this mm. Thursday, Orale. and uh, hopefully it'll be out within the next week or yeah. so. So be on the lookout for uh, Querido Papa on YouTube. Yeah. Y deja tú, Sergio, tú tienes Emmy Awards, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Este, con el acting debut de, de Lucky en La Tumba Falsa, bro. Le va a ganar un Academy Award. Look, put, put that little clip, baby. It's a second video. Ay, no. Era, 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 la, la carita. Sí, era la cara, la cara. Era. Le suena la ruca, ¿verdad? Quiere ver los chavalos. Y este dato, mira. <risa> ¡Ay, ya está! Oh, hey, oh, hey. Even I got like I was like staring at myself. That's pretty good, man. Hey, I want one of those too, bro. Yeah, get an Emmy, yeah. get an Emmy. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, también Sergio, muchas gracias, Sergio. Te sacaste la edad con el video de yes, sir. The whiskey D, carnal. Te inventaste así con Bobby, con and, and they were happy, man. You got some guys that have been in the industry for a long time that really liked your work so Thank I'm you. really happy about that as well appreciate it I appreciate it right, and we gotta do some more videos alright sure. alright ladies and gentlemen make sure to join us next Tuesday Solido and uh, it's gonna be fantastic we're gonna have two shows next week and make sure to become a member of our gold members club because we've got some amazing uh, interviews coming up and you're not gonna wanna miss the Lupe de Guayado interview de Control it's fantastic it is really awesome but uh, you all have a good one and uh, let's listen to the end of uh, she kept third rate romance. I've never really done this kind of thing. Whiskey D featuring Bobby Pulido and Lucky Joe. Make sure to stream it on YouTube exclusively at the Whiskey D YouTube channel. Everybody wave, let's go. And he said, Yes, I have, but only you.